Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deathmatch, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple home system. All right, let's get started. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and put a part into the workspace. Now this part will just be our default home location. So we're just gonna go ahead and anchor that really quick. Where's anchor? There we go. And we'll go ahead and name this default PLR home. Awesome. All right, next, since we're working on the setup right now, let's go to replicated storage, insert object, and we're going to insert a folder. And now I'm going to name this folder events. And in this folder, we are going to put a remote event. Now this remote event will be called send, send message event. Awesome, now that the entire setup is complete, we're going to jump into scripting. Now, if you are a fan of just grabbing the script and going, not exactly coding, I understand. Uh, I can tend to be lazy like that too. If you would like to access that, I have it in my Discord server, so you can just go ahead and click the link in the description and you will find the scripts and the model in my Discord server. All right, let's go ahead and get started for those of you that would like to follow along. So this script, I'm going to just go ahead and name leader. And this will just be our leaderboard stats. So just we'll store our player data. So you can follow along with me. Game.players.playerAdded colon connect function and then player right there. All right, and then we'll just go ahead, enter on down and then we'll type local folder equals instance dot new quotations folder. And then we're just gonna make sure that the parent is the player. Next, we'll just name the folder. So folder dot name equals PLR data. Now we're going to go ahead and make the home value. So let's go ahead and do local player home equals instance dot new quotations vector three value and then we'll just make sure that the parent is the folder. Next, let's go ahead and do player home dot name equals player home. And now we are going to find the default player home position. So this will be local def vec equals game dot workspace colon wait for child quotations default player home and then we'll find its position. Now let's go ahead and set the vector value to make sure that when the player spawns they are not spawning in ground so we just want to make sure that we increase the y value by about five I'd say. So let's type local new vec equals vector three dot new and then we'll do defvec dot x, defvec dot y, and then we'll do plus five, and then defvec dot z. Awesome, and now we'll just go ahead and set the player home to that default home. So player home dot value equals new vec. Awesome, now we have the leaderboard all complete. So this is going to hold all the player's data as of now. Let's go ahead and we can just close this script and we're going to add another script into the server script service. And we're going to go ahead and call that script set spawn script. Awesome. So this will be where the commands are running from. So you can follow along with me. Local send message event equals game dot replicated storage dot events dot send message event. Awesome. All right, now let's go ahead and make the commands. So we'll type local set home command equals, and I'm just gonna use a slash to call the command, but you can do whatever you would like. Slash set home. And then we'll go ahead and do local home command equals slash home. Awesome, now these are completely customizable. If you wanna go ahead and change them to whatever you want, you can do that. 
All right, let's go ahead and type game.players.playerAdded colon connect function. And then we'll type player right there. Awesome, let's press enter. And then we're gonna type player.chatted colon connect function. And then we'll have it be MSG message. Awesome. Now if we type, I'm just gonna make sure that I space these well enough. Uh, just add some comments here too, because it's gonna get kind of tricky to read. So if message equals equals set home command, then local current player position or cur player pose equals equals player dot character dot humanoid root part humanoid root part dot position local home vector or vec equals vector three dot new current player position dot x current player position dot y and then make sure we just add five there and then current player position dot z awesome now let's type player dot player player data dot player home dot value equals home vec and then we're going to set up a message system after we're done in this script so we'll do local message equals set home you will see what that means shortly send message event colon fire client and then we're just going to fire it to the player and send the message with it awesome Next, we're just gonna add the home command. So that was the set home command, my apologies. Set home command. And this is the go home command. There we go. All right, now let's go ahead and it's basically the same exact thing. We're just gonna go ahead and type if message equals equals home command, then local home vec equals player dot player data dot player home dot value and then we'll do player dot character dot humanoid root part dot position equals home vec and that's just the teleport command and now we'll do local message equals tp home and then we'll do send message event colon fire client now we're firing it to the player, and then the message. Awesome, now we are done with the set spawn script. So we can go ahead and close out of this script. Next, let's go down to starter GUI, and we're going to insert a local script. Now I'm going to name this local script server message control, but I'm just gonna shorten that and say serve mess control. There we go. And we can type the following. So local send message event equals game dot replicated storage dot events dot send message event. Next we'll type local messages equals and then we'll do a curly bracket because we're making a table and then we're gonna call this one set home equals oh outside of the brackets your home has been set. All right, and then we'll just do a comma, and then we'll do tp home equals you have been teleported home. All right, you can think of this table as our system. So if we go back to the set spawn script, you see we assigned a message right here. The local message equals tp home and set home. Those are our IDs that we go in and 
get from this table right here. So as you see, set home and TP home. Awesome. Now if we go down, we're going to go ahead and make a function. So local function send message, and then parentheses, new message color, game dot starter GUI colon set core chat make system message. And then we'll go ahead and put a comma there and then we're going to put a curly bracket just like that. And then we'll do text bracket text equals new message comma. We'll do color equals color comma and then font. The font can be whatever you would like it to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and type out enum dot font dot. Let's go with. I think they've got Gotham on here. Yes, they do. Gotham is one of my favorite fonts here. Awesome. Then we'll just make sure we put a comma and let's go ahead and get started on the last section. So send message event dot on client event colon connect function and then we'll get that message right there. Message. Awesome. Now we'll wait just a second because we want to make sure that when the player sends the message sends their message, the server message is below the player's message. Next, let's type local found message equals messages message. Now this is just finding the message in our message table. Local new message equals. Now I like to put server tag in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and type server. And then let's do a dot dot found message. Local color equals color three dot new. And one of the nice things about this is that you can go ahead and just start typing. And as you see, a little color wheel pops up. You can choose whichever color you'd like. I'm going to go with this color. I think that works pretty nicely. And then we'll get, just go ahead and have the message send. So send message, new message, and then color. Awesome. We are now done, so we can just go ahead and close these scripts. All right, you guys may have noticed that I accidentally capitalized a L in the player uh, script, the leaderboard script. So just make sure on line one, the very first line that I coded, you're typing game.players, but there's a lowercase L. Anyways, let's go ahead and test out this system. So if I go ahead and do slash home, I go ahead and I teleport home, which is our default home. Awesome. Now, if I want to go ahead and just set my home mm, over here, that works. We're going to do slash set home. And as you see, your home has been set. And now I want to wander back over to my old home. La -da 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 -da. And well, now I want to go home. So slash home. And as you can see, I have been teleported home. Awesome. So I hope that helped you guys in whatever you guys are making. I really hope this tutorial did what it needed to do. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and um, contemplate subscribing. Uh, I just hit 400 subscribers, which is pretty awesome. I will be update uploading more often. I will be uploading a video fairly soon about what happened there. Anyways, thank you guys, and I appreciate y'all. I'll see you in my next video.